Good afternoon. Welcome to our Midday Mall for Monday the 20th of July. Continuing to read through the Gospels, I'm in Mark's Gospel, the second chapter, which starts off with the well-known passage of Jesus healing the paralyzed man whose friends brought him along and lowered him through the roof. And he starts off by saying to him, your sins are forgiven, which shocks the religious community and all the good people saying, oh, who, what's he doing? And then Jesus says to show that I can do this. Get up, take your mat and go home. And the man does, which establishes that Jesus has an authority that they don't, they don't fully understand. And going on from there, we're told, as he went along, he began, he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. And so here Jesus has an opportunity for condemning sin and evil and pointing out how bad the tax collectors were, etc. But he does exactly what they didn't expect. <laughs> he told uh, follow me, Jesus told him. And then disaster upon disaster, Levi gets up and follows him. So now Jesus not only uh, has claimed to forgive sins, he's now got the sinner following him. And then he does even gets things even worse. He goes to his house. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with the sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? And one can imagine their sneering condescension, insinuating to, to the disciples, he's not such a good man, look at the company he keeps. But I was struck by, there were many who followed him. Here was somebody who was clearly a teacher, he, he didn't disguise that, he was this person that was uh, teaching in synagogues and doing all of these things. But he was welcoming. And they felt they could come and join him. And they would be at home and accepted. And so they did. And Jesus, when he hears the Pharisees asking this question, responds, It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I haven't come to call the righteous, but sinners. And we need to remember that, that, that we are here to reach out to those people who feel they're not worthy, to those people whose society would say are less. Um, we, we, we don't look down on anyone, ever. We can't. Um, because we know that we are the sinners that Jesus has come to save. And we need to remember that, and need to remember that nothing we do will cut us off from Jesus. If Jesus was prepared to associate and call Matthew and his friends, there's nothing we've done that will make him avoid us. And to me, that's an encouragement. So it's a challenge um, to be like Jesus and be that outgoing, appealing, uh, welcoming kind of uh, person that lets Jesus and his love shine through us, but also to, to recognize that we're the sinners that he came to call. Um, and we're always, always welcomed by him. So be encouraged, be challenged, um, and let Jesus' love shine through you day by day. Be blessed.